I came to Superstar Karate, I remember I walked in the first day, and I really wanted somewhere that I could go with my kids and train at the same time. And I went in there, I said, I'm looking for a place where I can do this. And they said, well, we specialize in families. I went, okay, well, we'll see. I didn't know what that meant. We showed up for our lesson. We went to the first class, and I remember it was on a Saturday, and I was the only adult in the class. And I went, well, sparring's going to be really cool, because I can take all of them. <laughs> but I found out later, there were a lot of adults in the class, a lot of families that worked together. And my whole main goal for having my children in karate was this world scared me half to death. I have two daughters, and I wanted to make sure they could protect themselves. That was it. That was my whole goal. My goals changed after a while after I saw what they really taught at Superstar Karate. And it's lessons that I've learned over the years, usually the hard way. Uh, sometimes I was lucky enough to have a mentor teach me. But they're starting to teach them at a young age some of the lessons that are going to get them so much farther in life than people that don't learn these lessons early on. Such as setting goals, such as, as trying. My oldest daughter is the one that has the hardest time just trying new things, or did. My youngest daughter usually had difficulty focusing. I've seen both of them change tremendously just since we've been in Superstar Karate. Peyton's more willing to try different things. Paige uh, just last week showed us what she could do. She came into class, uh, her pre-testing scores went down. She wasn't focusing. We had a little discussion and instead of saying, I can't do this, this is too hard, she went back the next night and she not only raised her score and got it up to a, an A or a B, but she also got an excellent form strike. So this is something that, that they've learned that they don't just give up and they keep going and they keep trying. And it's simple as, you know, people wonder, the breaking the boards. Uh, at least I did. Why are we breaking boards? You know, the old Mr. Miyagi, or, or I guess it was Bruce Lee, boards don't hit back. Uh, and, but it's not the actual fact that you can break the board. It's the fact that you're breaking through something that you didn't think you could do before. When I watch these kids, all of these kids, and even the family members, the adults, and they go, go do something that they've never done before, and they break through that board, and that look on their face, it's not just them that that makes a difference. When they get to school and they think something's harder, or they're at their job and they think they can't do something, it gives them the confidence to move on and to do that. And if you look at some of the instructors we have, the young instructors that teach adults so well and with such poise and such confidence, you can look at them and say, if my child sticks with this and goes to this point, they can be like Miss Bradley, they can be like Miss Van Peen, they can be like Mr. Jacob and Mr. Ryan. So they always say the family that kicks together sticks together. He always says it's cheesy. It's really not. Uh, quite frankly, we've gotten a lot out of this, both personally with our own family and then the friends that we've made here. So if you are, uh, if you do have a child in karate and I, uh, you haven't yet joined them, I would, I would uh, say this would be something that would really benefit not only you personally, but your family as a whole. So give it a shot.